How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Marvel Snap Zone video. We have the ranked tier list for this week, October 20th. Well, today's the 24th. Came out yesterday on the 23rd, but we have the tier list for this week. This video is going to be a little bit different than the other weekly videos that I do. Normally on those videos, I go through deck by deck, tell you all the changes, tell you all the meta changes, but with no OTAs, no balance changes, with just Black Knight getting reintroduced, normally these kinds of weeks go two different ways. The first way is some of the decks that are like tier three, tier two, kind of have a week to refine their deck list and then come out to tier one. Some some uh, decks drop, some decks come up and it settles in that way. And then the other way that it can happen, which is unfortunately what's happening this week is the strongest decks stay the strongest, get stronger, figure out their list and kind of dominate the meta that's what's going on here unfortunately with elsa if you look at the tier one decks we have loki collector move and sarah control sarah controls up from tier two cherry sauron has dropped from tier one so every deck that is in tier one now is an elsa deck tier two we have shuri sauron and then hella tribunal worth noting hella tribunal is new on this list but we've seen it before um however its win rate is like 47 percent and it gain and it has a 0.4 cube rate which is really good but with a 40 47 percent win rate it has dropped down or it's in tier two sorry and then we have again tier two thor miracle and thanos control thanos control is what i've been having the most success with i'm actually gonna have a video on that on my channel either today or tomorrow i've been running the km best list i added nico in there this week but i've been having a lot of success I went from 3,500, rank 3,500 global to I think like 950 or something. So I'm really enjoying that list. I'll have a video for you guys. So go check out my channel if you haven't already. I, I don't know what to say about this week. Elsa, I think she needs a nerf. She has been fun in that she's opened up all these different archetypes that are working really well, like move, um, Sarah Control being back. Loki Collector was already doing pretty well. Um, Thor Miracle, I'm happy that that's here. And then the Thanos control list that I'm running, Surprise, runs Elsa. Shane Chi's are also prevalent in the meta now. We've been seeing a lot more of them. Shuri Kitty is actually down here in tier three. I think generally that's grouped up with Shuri Sauron, but right now it's not performing as well. And then Ramp is back on the list in tier three. Um, so I'm just gonna skim through the, the new decks on here, except for Hella Tribunal, because we've already seen it. It's worth noting, Den has a guide on Thor Miracle, so if you haven't given that deck a shot and you want to learn how to play it before you just get your hands dirty, his guides are fantastic. So I'm just going to go through the, the few decks, good cards, Zab Zabu, um, I'll skim through Shuri Kitty and then Ramp. So let's check those out. Good card, Zabu. We've seen Zabu decks before, we've seen Dark Hawk decks before. This one I think is really interesting in that it is running Shadow King, which I think is really good in the meta right now with collectors, with um, Cravens for move. And of course, all the Elsa buffs, Shadow King is just really good against those. I've seen lists like this. This, I, I wanted to bring this one up because I've seen kind of junk hazmat list doing really well. Um, having Korg and Rock Slide to clog your opponent's deck, Black Widow to stop their draws. Um, clogging up as much as you can. And then of course, with that junk, you get some value out of man thing. So I just thought this was an interesting deck. It's it's cool seeing a Zabu deck back in play. I think there's a little bit less Mobiuses around. So you're kind of getting a little bit more value from Zabu. So worth giving this deck a shot. I'm gonna try it pretty soon here. Um, after I make my video with Thanos control, probably gonna give this deck a shot. It looks really interesting. And I wanna be able to use man thing. So. Next up, Shuri Kitty. This is normally bundled in with the Shuri decks, the other Shuri deck and the stats, but it's not because it's not performing as well. It's an Elsa list. It's a Shuri list. It doesn't do either of those things quite as good as their counterparts. All the other Elsa decks do Elsa things better, and the other Shuri deck does Shuri things better. So this is kind of a, a midway version of, of the decks. It's a good deck. It's, it's solid, but it's just not as good as the other ones. So... I would probably pass up on this and just try some of the Elsa decks while she is still very good. I don't know if they're planning on doing anything to her, but given that she's dominating the meta this much, I would assume some changes are, are probably going to happen. And then of course, Ramp. 
you might find some success. There's not as much Mobius being run as there was in the previous weeks. So maybe you'll have a little bit more success with Wave, but uh, we've seen all these decks before. You can even read the article, then kind of echoes my, uh, my mood here, where he talks about, you know, people are complaining about this meta. It is a very stale meta. We need an OTA change. We need something to happen to, to pull Elsa down and just bring some interest back into the meta. I'm not so mad about it. It's only been, you know, a couple weeks of it. I think it, Elsa decks are fun. And because there are a few of them, you have choices and the ability to play different things. However, the meta is very boring at the moment and um, I am ready for things to change up. So sorry, this is a, a little bit of a different video than normal. Um, next week, hopefully, if things change, I'm not sure if they're going to, maybe Nico will shake up the meta. Um, we'll go back to our, our normal, go over each of the decks and what I think, but as of right now, very stale meta. So this is what I have for you guys. Um, I have my own YouTube channel where I do Marvel Snap stuff, bundle breakdowns, deck videos, all that kind of stuff. So if you're not subscribed to me, go check out my channel. And if you're not subscribed to Marvel Snap Zone, subscribe here. And as usual, if you love all things Marvel Snap, make sure you like and subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next.